online. So we're going to end up Dilip, but Dilip, we're asking you if you're hearing us to turn on your video as we come to you, because we're going to need you to reply once we induct you, Dilip. So we're going to ask you to make sure your video is on, Dilip. And it, is on. Gonna... it is on, I think. Okay, there you are, Dilip. Congratulations. Can you see and... me? Yeah, fantastic. Yes. Yeah, great. We can see you now. We can see you. PK okay. will be proud. PK. Yeah, we'll be proud of you. Absolutely, you're PK, you're a friend of mine. A very dear oh, friend. Yeah. Anything PK tell us to do, we do yeah. it to PK. We love PK. So, He's been all the right. Players. Okay. All right, so let me talk about Mr. Vensaka. He was rated as the best batsman in the world during his era. You know, how many people can say that? You know, you batted number three for India and scored over 17 test centuries. You know, you started playing all the way back in 1976 and you... Actually, you had the distinction of being the captain of India in 1987. And during the heydays, we remember the days when Michael Holden and Andy Roberts and Malcolm Marshall were tearing up everything in the world. They were, you know, they, they were killing batsmen. You were the only guy who scored, you know, were able to score six centuries against those great guys. So I want everyone to give you a round of applause wherever you are in the Thank world. You. You know, you. I remember the days when, you know, My Michael Holden had most of the Indian team running away in Pakistan, in, in Savannah Park. When they came to Savannah Park, they were running from Michael Holden, and you were there standing up, you know, even against those guys scoring centuries. So congratulations, you know. But you will be remembered, really, for the three consecutive centuries you scored at Lawrence yeah. when you beat England and, and won the Man of the Series award. And you... So, and you retired and you continue to do good work. You retired in 1992 and you started a cricket academy in India. So you might be the reason why India is so great right now because of the academy, academy that you started there to help train people. And you also was the vice president of Mumbai Cricket Association and the chairman of the selection committee for BCCI. So congratulations, Mr. Vensaka, you know, Welcome to the Cricket Hall of Fame. You are worthy inductee. And I'm going to ask Madam President to come forward and induct you into the Cricket Hall of Fame. Mr. Vipil Pensaka, by the powers vested in me, Shirley Matthews, President of the first Cricket Hall of Fame in the world, do hereby induct you, Mr. Depel Benzaka, into the Hall of Fame with all honors and privileges appertaining. Congratulations, Mr. Benzaka. God bless you. Congratulations, Mr. Benzaka. The floor is all yours. Yeah, thank you very much for this great honor, um, and uh, yeah, and I think I'm very privileged to be, I think, part of uh, this excellent list. I think when I saw the list uh, uh, of the inductees in the past, I mean, there have been great names there, uh, and I'm really privileged to be part of this great list. Um, I would like to thank my friend, Mr. P.K. Gua, uh, who's been instrumental, who has uh, been calling me for the last 10 years, but some or the other, I couldn't make it, but this time I said to P.K. that I'll be there, definitely, but unfortunately, we... Um, I'm not in the US, uh, um, I'm in Mumbai, and it's very early morning in Mumbai. Um, I know you're having spirits, but I'm in what I'm in a cup of tea. Um, <laughs> having said that, uh, uh, this is my great journey. I think we started in 1976, uh, ended in 1992, but it was very, very enjoyable indeed. Um, I have played um, against the best cricketers. Uh, in fact, my first tour was to West Indies, uh, and I played against the best of the cricketers. Uh, uh, in West Indies, uh, then Australia, England, every, uh, the all parts of the world. And I enjoyed every test match, every test series, every ODI match, uh, uh, really enjoyed um, all my journey. Uh, and of course, in, um, um, in 1992, I retired and I wanted to give back to the game. Um, and then I started Cricket Academy. And now I've got three Cricket Academies where hundreds and thousands of kids are playing cricket. We've got fantastic infrastructure in Mumbai uh, and in Pune as well. Um, you know, and a lot of players over the years, I think it's been for the last 25 years, 
uh, I belong in cricket academies. Uh, they have been playing uh, um, the first class cricket from Mumbai for India and also in IPL. So I'm very proud of that. Uh, and um, of course, I think when I played my first World Cup in 79, I think US team was there as well. I hope to see them soon in the ICC World Cup because there have been some excellent cricketers all over America. Um, I've seen them, I've watched them. Uh, they got huge talents. If they want my help, I'll be always be there. If they want to come um, and play in Mumbai at my academic grounds, they're most welcome. I'll be always there to help them. Um, I think you guys have done a fantastic job. Uh, I think over the 39 years, uh, there's lots of years. Uh, um, and I think contribution for cricket in America is huge. Uh, and I wish that, uh, that of course, as you continue to do so for many years to come, uh, because uh, you, guys, um, you guys are needed in America. Uh, I would like to thank the chambers and all of you, um, uh, all the committee members, and my friend PK Gua um, for giving me this honor. Uh, I'll be always be there to help you out. All the very best, and I hope that you continue to do so for many, many years. All the best, and God bless you all. Thank you.